Okay, so now we're going to have a look at the second item, which is the generate menu. This is the super quick way to create new fields. Okay, so now we're going to focus in on the generate menu. You've seen me use that already in the data audit node, but it's actually got lots of different features and functions to reuse when we don't think people pay enough attention to it. So let's look at some examples of where we can use it here. First example we're going to look at is where we can use the generate menu to very quickly uh, define uh, data filtering and sub uh, select subsets of data. So here we have some uh, rows of data, 6,192 of them. Each row represents a customer of an IT wholesaler. You can see here that we have fields indicating the sector that the customer belongs to and whether or not they have a support contract. So let's say we're interested in filtering out those who have a support contract and who belong to a particular sector. Let's go for um, uh, telco and media. So we'll click on that. And if I go to generate up here and go select node and, it will generate a select node based on an and condition. So they have to belong to both of those groups. And we can see inside here it's creating the syntax for us uh, to do that where uh, you know sector equals telco and media and support contract equals T for true. And if we just want to check that, that that's worked, downstream of that, run the table. And we can see that everybody in the 26 records it's found that meet that condition have support contracts and they all belong to uh, the telco and media sector. So it's a really simple way in which we can use the generate menu. It's really fast. It's a lot quicker than typing in the syntax. Next section we're going to look at, we're going to look at how we use the generate menu to, to work with charts. So let's have a little look at a histogram here. Here's a histogram of revenue per sale. And I can split this into different groups and get it to generate a, uh, a node, which will, will break these into groupings and bin them, if you like. Or I can manually interact with it and just right click on these and select it. And I can rename the bandings here. So I can rename this band. It's going to call it band one, band two, band three. So you can see I can call them low, medium, high. But you know, I'm not going to bother at this stage. Let me just go to generate here and I can go to generate derive node for bands. It creates that for me. And here we have this new field that's been created here. If we look inside here, it's just calling it band. And it calls it band one, band two, band three. So we can just uh, just connect up to, uh, connect, connect it to a, a, uh, a, a little uh, distribution node here. And look at band, maybe hit run. And here we have band one, band two, band three. It's just basically created those three groups for us. Okay, what, what about actually collapsing groups together? Um, let's have a look at what we had here before and we had sector hit run so here we have as you can see it's fairly uneven in terms of the sectors that's produced we've got different count here I could for example just say select the bottom three and I could group them together and rename that group edit that group and rename we'll call it MIS for miscellaneous click OK so very quick way in which we want to collapse groups together and then again go to the generate menu and go to generate reclassify node groups click x to close that down and then let's just right click i'll put sector on the end of that i can either get it to overwrite the existing field by right clicking in here and say existing field and we run that again we can see that now we've got a category here called mis mis miscellaneous 616 records so again using the generate menu to very quickly group things together what about creating flag fields, indicators uh, that maybe point out unusual uh, uh, relationships or anomalous relationships? Well, if I just show you here, I've got a little scatter plot here, and the scatter plot is showing me the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the relationship between total revenue and level of contact. We've got some anomalous cases here. I mean, I could go here and, and interact with this data and say, yeah, I'm kind of interested in maybe just drawing a box around these cases here. Let's just say that they're they're unusual, they're anomalous. If I go to generate up here and go to derive node for marked elements, it will generate a derive node for me. And if I look inside that, a derive node is basically made up of trues or falses. If they fall within that group, they're true. And if they don't, they fall, they're, they're false. So it creates a little indicator field for me. So I could rename this to anomaly and it would it would create this little uh, marker field for me. A very quick way to do that. Uh, and finally, what about looking at uh, uh, balancing our data? You've seen when I've uh, when you've got uneven data here. Let's say that we've got a target field and we want to make it 50-50. We want to rebalance the data so that we have 
50% uh, of the cases fall into the zero group and 50% fall within the one group here. And this is uh, the proportion of people who have purchased within the mobile group. For whatever reason, let's say we need to rebalance the data. Again, if I go to generate here, you can see you can balance node reduce, which will reduce it down, artificially reduce it down to 1500 cases roughly each, or, or boost it, will artificially boost it up to uh, 4600 cases each. Let's go for balance node reduce, and that will rebalance the data for me downstream of that point, and we'll just put a copy of mobile on the end of that. This is all through the generate menu, remember, hit run. And now we have roughly 50-50 each, so it's rebalanced the data, it's weighted the data so that we have equal proportions within that, within that grouping. So that's a generate menu there. Uh, a bunch of different procedures are very, very useful and real time saving uh, benefits associated with that menu.